What's up, football fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook. And don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two latest book releases, Football, a Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? Visit our website at footballgameplan.com slash books and get your copies today. Starting with the Gators in this ball game, I think this is a strength versus strength matchup. We know LSU can come in and run the football. That's what they want to do, and we know Florida does a great job in stopping the run. I think this is where they're going to have to win this ball game. Can they put LSU in more obvious passing situations? And I think that's a win for this Florida Gators defense. And also, beating LSU at their own game, quiet as kept. The Gators can run the football just as effectively as LSU can. T Calvin Taylor is one of the more underrated backs in the country. They're going to have to get him going early. That offensive line does a great job in moving guys off the spot. And they also have the added element of a mobile guy back there at quarterback in Treyon Harris. So if they can beat LSU at their own game, it ultimately helps them out later on. And they have to own the special teams battle. That's going to be another big key. Two solid special teams units in this ball game with Florida and LSU. And if the Gators can win two out of the three facets of a game, they can win this matchup overall. Moving on to LSU in this matchup, they can't waste offensive possessions. We've seen throughout the course of a ball game, LSU can go through loads of effectiveness on offense. That can't happen versus a team like Florida because they have the same type of offense that can chew up the T.O.P. And I would also open up with the passing game. The LSU Tigers have tremendous talent on the flanks. They have a really good quarterback in Brandon Harris. Open up with the passing game because you know they can rely anytime they want to on their ground game in Leonard Fournette. And the pressure has to come from within. Treyon Harris is a guy that can extend the play. He can get outside of the pocket. You want to make that tough for him by forcing him to make plays consistently within that tackle to tackle box and have to pick you apart throwing the football. I think if they're able to do that, they neutralize an element of his game, which is a win for this LSU defense. The biggest X factor in this game for Florida is an obvious one is quarterback Treyon Harris, who's replacing Will Greer, who is suspended for the season. Now, Treyon Harris has played before, and he has played some good football, and I think he can continue to have this offense on pace, and that's what he'll have to do in order to knock off LSU and remain undefeated. I think the biggest X factor for LSU will be the play of their Mike linebacker, Kendall Beckwith, who has double duty this game. He has to not only make sure Calvin Taylor in that running game doesn't get going, but also probably will have to play spy on Treyon Harrison. If he can do a great job in the middle of that defense, it helps LSU out everywhere else as a whole. Now, here are some of the 2016 draft prospects you want to keep an eye on. I did throw one junior in the mix for Florida, cornerback Vernon Hargraves the third, who I think is one of the most outstanding cornerback prospects in some time. 5'11", 195, has been a solid player since his freshman season in Gainesville. Also, Jonathan Bullard and Vidal Alexander, I think, will have a lot of discussions in this ballgame as those two guys will probably be matched up one-on-one -on -one versus each other, and I think this is a great game for a guy like Jake McGee to make his claim as one of the better tight ends in the country. Willie Jackson Sr. is definitely a campus legend. He played there from 1970 to 1973 and has an historical impact on his Florida Gators football program as he was one of the first African-American players to play at Florida and finish his Gators career with 75 catches for over 1,100 yards, eight touchdowns, and both of his sons, Terry Jackson and Willie Jackson Jr., also attended and played at the University of Florida. The man who had to follow an LSU legend and Heisman Trophy winner, Billy Cannon, Jerry Stovall, became a legend in his own right, earning All-American honors, winning the Walter Camp Award, and finishing second in the Heisman Trophy as a senior en route to becoming a college football Hall of Famer. I like LSU in this ball game. Quiet as kept LSU, in my opinion, is the best team in the SEC and probably in the country. What they do well, they run the football, they play great defense, they're able to get off the field on third downs, but where they can improve and where they will get better is in the passing game because as they start to implement more passing plays in this offense, they're going to become much more balanced and therefore much more dangerous. So I do think they'll knock off the Florida Gators and go on to 6-0. and 